Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School. This is a video on vapor pressure curves, um, which can be found on Table H. Um, sometimes they ask you about questions in terms of propanone and ethanol and water and ethanolic acid. And instead of guessing how to do it, you go straight to Table H and the information is there for you. Um, in vapor pressure curves, you can relate temperature and vapor pressure. Now, we must be careful on the horizontal axis um, each box represents a unit of five degrees, right? But on the vertical axis, okay, each box represents um, a value of 10 kilopascals, all right? So, for example, they can give you a specific, a specific temperature, for example, um, 75 degrees, and they can ask you at what pressure would um, water boil at 75 degrees, right? So you go up. You go straight to water, all right, and you would go across like that. And this value right here represents your value at which um, your value for pressure at which water will boil, okay, at 75 degrees, and you're done, okay. And that would be uh, um, 40, right? Okay, all right. And you can also be given a specific um, pressure, right? Like for example, over here. All right, and they can ask you to go over to one of the substances, for example, like propanone, and they can ask you at what temperature does that substance boil at given this pressure. So if you have 150 kPa, and you go down right here for propanone, let's go make some dots right here, and go down right there, that value would be the temperature at which propanone would boil at at 150 kPa. So this table is very, very flexible. All right. Also, guys, you can relate um, attraction to vapor pressure. Now, vapor pressure is the ease at which um, particles go into the gas phase, okay, at a specific temperature. And the more gas particles you produce, the more vapor you produce, the higher vapor pressure, okay, the weaker your attraction. Okay, so once again, if you have a high vapor pressure at a specific temperature, your attraction is weaker than the other guys you're comparing it to. So, for example, if we have propanone, right, we have ethanol, we have water and ethanoic acid, right, all at 50 degrees C. We notice that ethanoic acid has the lowest vapor pressure, and we notice that propanone at 50 degrees has the highest vapor pressure. So we can assume of the bet that ethanoic acid, okay, ethanoic acid has the highest attraction, all right? And we can say at, at 50 degrees that propanone has the weakest attraction, okay? Now, how do we know that? Once again, because propanone had the higher vapor pressure at a specific temperature. So the higher vapor pressure, the weaker your attraction if you're comparing it to other things. Um, specifically, by definition, vapor pressure, when it equals atmospheric pressure, boiling occurs. Now, a lot of times we think that boiling, um, the temperature has to be hot, right? But boiling occurs when these two pressures are equal. So water doesn't have to boil at 100 degrees always. It can boil as long as you have the conditions of vapor pressure equaling atmospheric pressure. Now there's a, there's a, there's a special value um, called normal atmospheric pressure which is 101.3 kPa or one atmosphere and that's found on um, table, if I'm not mistaken, table A of your reference table, okay? And when we have the atmospheric pressure being 101.3 kPa, that gives us something called um, the normal boiling point. So, for example, if I move across right here and I go down, okay, the normal boiling point of ethanol is this value right here, okay? And if I go across again, all right, and I go to water, and I go down, the normal boiling point of water is this value right here, which is 100, which should, see, which should seem familiar to us. Okay, so once again, um, when the vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure, boiling occurs. So if they ask you to find a normal boiling point of something, you don't panic, 
you go straight to that 101.3 kPa value. Okay, all right, so we just did that there. All right, so this is a very, very brief video on, on table H. You can relate temperatures and vapor pressures or vapor pressure to temperature. You can determine who has a stronger traction or who has a weaker traction at a specific temperature. Okay, know that vapor pressure, when it equals atmospheric pressure, boiling occurs. It doesn't always have to be at 100 degrees. It doesn't, all, doesn't always have to be at a high temperature. And the 101.3 kPa represents normal atmospheric pressure. Okay, and it can be found at table A. And also, when you have your normal atmospheric pressure, it can give you normal boiling points. Okay, it's always hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Take care. Do well.